So today I'm going to be telling you another streamer. Now, this is a streamer I discovered a couple of years back out fishing in Slovenia. Um, <clears throat> and it's a very natural kind of looking streamer and it's 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 most effective fishing for fussy fish, you could say. Um, hard caught rainbows that have been maybe hooked or plucked before on lakes and browns that want something a little bit more natural rather than something flashy or or overpowering in colour. Um, this has been probably one of my most productive streamers over the last five to six years. And um, it's a lovely flight fish and it looks fantastic when it gets wet. So let's begin. We put a size 12 SLW barbless hook in Duhaku barbless hook into the vise. And I got a 2.5 mil tungsten bead on that hook. Now I also tie the same pattern without a bead and can be quite effective fish in still waters say when they've been overfished with the likes of midge tips and slow sinking intermediate lines fished very slowly in a figure of eight with a long leader can be can be really can save can save the day or save a blank for the tail and for the wing we're going to use a feather that most people tend to dump it is a back feather off of the skin of a hen pheasant or a partridge skin. If you turn over the skin to the tan side and you'll see these feathers kind of loosely down around the, the back end of the, the skin and it's um it's a lovely, lovely supple feather, lots of movement in it and uh, very nice natural colours. So we're going to take a pinch of one of those feathers and we're going to add it in there the back of the fly for a tail. Secure it down. Tidy it up. And then we're just going to add in a small couple of strands, strands of wing and flesh on either side of that. Take out a couple of strands, just break them off on either side of that tail. They just pluck off then to get the right lint. Now, so for the rib, for this, we're going to use two-tone mylar, gold and silver, and we're going to use the gold side. This is the small size mylar we're using. So we're going to tie the silver side out. Then for the body we're going to take some hair's ear dubbin and we're just going to Rub it nicely onto that thread and start back here and come halfway, a little less than halfway up the body of that fly. And it's a small piece more. Okay, at this stage, we want to put in some, so the best way to describe them is orange breeders on either side of the fly. But before we do that, we're going to take our rib and we're going to rib that first section of hair's ear with our body. And just tie it off. Now I find it easiest just to remove the ribbon for a moment. It just gives us space to put in these breeders. So we're using globe right number five here. I'm just taking off a strip and I'm going to double that up and then I'm going to quadruple it. So I've got four strands of globe right number five and I'm going to tie it in one on each either side of the streamer like so. I'm then going to add back in my jewel miler that I just removed. Securing well. 
and basically going to continue on with my body of hairs here. Just continuing on, holding everything in place, right from where you stopped before. Continue on up the flight. And then likewise with your ribbon. And remove the waste from that. Now, just as regards these two breeders, I'm going to cut them off maybe one eighth of an inch or a little bit more, equal on either side, just like so. And we'll give the whole thing a little bit of a brush out just to get some of those dubbing fibers to. Give that body a nice puffy natural look about it. For the wing, we're going to take another one of our down feathers. And we're going to place it in on top. Just use the required amount you want. This is not a, a big heavy streamer. This is, this is slim, a nice slim streamer, a nice slim streamer, so don't overdress this, this fly, keep it nice and slim. Just tidy all that up. There. Now I'm going to add in some more of the wing and flesh. Let's take a little bit more this time than we put into his tail. And I basically just going to tie it in there, kind of on top of that. On top of that wing, we just add it, loop it over. Okay. A couple of nice tight turns there, the back of that bead secure everything in well. I just like to spread it all out just so it gets nice and even amongst that wing. Now, just to finish off that streamer, I need to grab some cartridge. There we go. When my cartridge came, I'm going to select. Nice hackle for the front of that streamer. Something with a bit of lint. Clean off the hackle, clean off all the down. And then use my hackle pliers. I'll catch the very tip of that. Just clean it back. Like so I'm going to tie that in there just behind the bead. And again with my hacker pliers, catch that. Let's clean that off there. Catch the stem of the partridge. And just wind that in there. Regular thread through to secure it in and cut away that stem. And begin just to stroke those fibers back. Tighten the thread up in behind the 
streamer. And last but not least, our whip finish. A little bit of a whip finish in there. Tighten everything up. Trim away your waist. A little bit of a brush there just to get everything nicely brushed back. And there you have it folks. A very effective <coughs> excuse me, natural streamer that is fantastic for catching stubborn rainbows and still waters and browns and rivers <coughs> most of the year round and it, as I said when it gets wet it becomes a very attractive very natural fly it really can have some produce some fantastic eggs fishing thanks for watching and hope you enjoy the tying of the fishing